All right, everyone, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, today we will give uh, give some spanking to our Muslim Abdul, who is copy paste from others. It's not even his own words when he speak. And actually, he's in the text, but he is a coward. He don't dare to call me life. His name is Interfaith. Ready to debate? I am live on Skype. Oh, okay, hold on then. <laughs> Are you sure? All right. Okay, hold on. Let me turn on my Skype. Guys, this guy, he just said, it's hard to believe, by the way, that he is ready and his Skype is online. All right. Call me. I am on air. <clears throat> Give me a call. And let us laugh. I'm waiting for you. I'm not going to say anything until you call. My Skype is on. What your website have to do with the Skype, you idiot? Are you are, are you you are a kid, aren't you? Are you going to call or not? You just said your Skype is on, right? Okay, call. Let us laugh. If you don't call, it's mean you are seriously a six years old little girl like Aisha. I'm waiting. <clears throat> Call the coward, he's playing dead. <clears throat> Invite your friends, guys, because we have a lot of fun to laugh at. Hold on, <clears throat> I mean, Abdul, he want to call me. That's hard to believe. Is that serious? What happened to you, Abdul? Your mom, she did not allow you to call. You just said, should I show your screen, your uh, your text? Did you did you back down? Huh? You don't mean it, don't you? You don't mean it, don't you? Coward like your prophet. Coward like your prophet. You see, your prophet, he used to go and hide between the legs of Khadija, sorry, Aisha, when there's an attack. Is that correct? This is your text, Abdul. Let me show everybody how coward you are. Is that your text? Is that your text? Interfaith? CD, be ready for debate. I am live on Skype. <laughs> what a potato. I know what's happening. I know. You are shaking now and you are doing poop on your panty because you know what will happen if you ever speak to me. Coward like your prophet. Bees upon him. Let us continue and love. He will not call anyway. He's a potato like the rest of them. Guys, this idiot, I'm showing you on the screen what he posted. By the way, this guy is a Sufi. He is not even a Muslim. The Muslim Sufi sect is created by a hooker. Her name is Rabi Ali Adawiya. And I challenge this guy to say I'm wrong. The one who created his sect is a hooker. Officially a hooker. You remember the mosque was, was attacked by, uh, uh, by Muslims in Egypt uh, about 15 days ago. And more than 230 uh, people get killed. They are Sufi. Why they kill them? Because their sect is created by a hooker like Muhammad. Uh, they dance in the mosque and they do belly dancing and you know uh, shish kebab Yet they claim that they are hummus uh, Muslim Sunni <laughs> Anyway Look what this guy he said We will start one by one is a Christ the creator or a created by the way this guy He have like WordPress anyone can create WordPress and what he do he copy paste from other website and When you do copy paste you get best busted by stupidity and look, he's dead now. He is not even moving. He's not. He's not even posting any text. Is the Christ is a creator or he is a creator? You see, if you go there, hmm? actually, you know what? Let me finish the, the the ones he said before we go to that website. The foolish Christian prince, foolish logic. Quran always says Jesus will die one day. Quran says Jesus will die one day. <laughs> 
One day we will die. One day, maybe a million years from now, maybe two million years from now, maybe three million years from now. But Quran says Jesus will die one day. I mean, he will, he will go. <laughs> but Jesus is just a normal human being. How come Muhammad did not, the Quran say that Muhammad will die one day? And you idiot, when I showed you that your prophet said that a prophet of God, their body will not be consumed in the grave. I was talking about the body will be decay. And I say I showed you the hadith where Muhammad said that Allah will place your prayer in front of me. But I in the same time I showed you that Muhammad his belly was full of fart and he was farting gas like a crazy because it's normal when you die. Whatever food you have in your belly is going to make gas. And his nails became a green and blue. And one of the Sahaba, he said, bury your friend for his stink, as all a human being, they stink. So your prophet is stink. In the case of our Lord, he did not go to the grave, according to Quran. According to you, one day he will die. And according to you, look what you just said. You mentioned chapter 4, verse number 159, and this is your translation, not mine. Look what it says. And there's none from the people of the scriptures, but they will surely believe in Jesus before his death. <laughs> that is a joke. You idiot. You see how stupid your God? Your God, he just called us people of the scriptures. How we are people of the scriptures, and yet we did not believe in Jesus. If this is about Jesus, when he will die, one day, huh? one day, one day. How the verse says that he is a person, he will die in the future according to you. You call no one, you coward, you liar, you call no one. Give me, give me your name, give me your name, I will call you. Here we go. No, that this is not you actually. This is was a person. His name is Eve. Give me, give me your name. I will call you. <clears throat> give me your name, Abdul, in Skype. Don't make an excuse. I will call you. <clears throat> he did not call me. He's a potato. He's a liar. Give your name. Come on, before we continue, give me your name. Hello? What happened? He don't want me to, how you how I'm going to call you if you don't give me your name? <clears throat> He is just trying to disturb, by the way. He don't want to call. He is trying to disturb because he don't want to give his name. And he, he claimed that he called me. But everybody, you see, we just received a call from someone. Her name is Eve or something. Uh, uh, you know, uh, the, I, Skype is working. So what do you mean you call me? Huh? Potato. Anyway, guys, look at this verse. How stupid the author of the Quran is. You are the Abdul, not me. You are the follower of a stupid God who is a vagina vendor. You are the one who is called Abdul in Islam, not me, my friend. Don't fool yourself. We have no Abdul here. You are the only Abdul, and you Muslims are the ones who believe in such a God. We don't. All right? Uh, now, what's your name? Why you don't give me your name? Why you don't give your name? I will call you. Why you don't give your name in Skype and I will call you? What's the problem? Hello? Hello? Not the potato. Anyway, let, let's just ignore him. He will not call. <clears throat> Look how stupid this verse is. None from the people of the scriptures. Huh? I know I need to wait for your reply. What reply? Call me, you idiot. You do not need a reply. My my Skype is open. You do not need to add me. Just 
find my name click call and you will call me everybody is calling me the same way guys he's just trying to uh, to uh, stop us from our topic do you see what says the verse here and there's none from the people of the scripture but he sh sh will surely believe in Jesus before his death <laughs> <laughs> oh boy <laughs> do we believe in Jesus or we don't let me let me block you let me block you because obviously you are a kid you are saying to me give me uh, 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 take the call but you refuse to give me your name in Skype you liar coward hold on hold on let me see hold on I don't want to waste the chance to laugh for tonight hold on I would do something <clears throat> Wait, because it's a priceless to love at the Abdul. We don't want to lose this, such an opportunity. Uh, <clears throat> he refused to give us his name until now. All right, but I remember there was before somebody. His name is Sufi, but I think it was a female. She have a picture of a bikini. I'm not sure if this is you. I'm looking at the names now. Sufi Media, is that you? Is that is that you, Sufi Media? Is, is that you, Sufi Media? Hello? 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 <laughs> Call, call now. If you are Sufi Media, call. Call. Let us continue. You see, when I start talking about the verse, he will interrupt me and he says, take the call, right? He's dead. Yeah, just ignore him. This verse is a proof that Muhammad and his God, he claimed that he have a God, is not exist. Why? Because nobody... Nobody But from the people of the scriptures They will believe in him before his death. What about the rest? Only the people of the scriptures <clears throat> Hey Sufi media, how are you? Is that you? Yes, mr. CP. How are you? I'm fine. How's Rabia doing Seeing with you? you after six months? I haven't seen you a long time now after the debate with Mr. Sam Shamoon, do you remember? Are you debated Sam Shamoon? Yeah, un unfortunately, it was uh, after midnight, basically. Is that? I was sleeping, are you, are you, this, really are you the same guy? His name Namatullah Mumtaz? It's no, it's not Namatullah. It's interfaithdigest.wordpress.com. Yeah, but Namatullah Mumtaz, he speaks like you. He's Pakistani. Are you back? Are you Pakistani? Are you from Pakistan? It doesn't matter where I am from. I'm I'm from heavens. Oh, I can tell. I see. <laughs> that means that mean your penis is very long. Is that is that true? Is that true that your penis is very long? Because in heaven, your prophet, he said he will make your penis endless. I'm very eager to debate you. I haven't been getting uh, to talk to you before uh, Sam Shamon. After that debate, he promised me he will take the second debate and you take me on after. Abdul, Sam Abdul, 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 listen, you can call me every day. Are you happy? You can call me. You can call me every day. Now, let, let us start. Talking in what, the TV. What, now, what you don't I'm, like about my previous video? So I, I have a question to you. The, no, no, the, 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 you are talking. posting, you are posting about my previous video. Let us finish this. What you don't yeah. like about my previous video? Tell me. Previous is gone. We are doing something fresh. No, 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 no. I'm answering your post. I started this video to get you busted and to spank you. So now we want to talk about what you posted. You are busting. You are busting with some, uh, some people. Yeah, so don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. You are the one who posted this to me and you challenged me to reply. Should I? Uh, yes, I want to discuss with you. That's why. I All right. So I now, want... what is the problem with the video I made about your prophet and about what we said in the previous video? <clears throat> what did you say? The post you made for me, you said I am foolish, I do not have a good logic, I am stupid, and this is about what? About this this video, the video in the front of me. Do you want me to play? Do you want me to play the video for you again? Do you want me to play the video for you again? Did you forget what we spoke about? 
you ask me a question that's why I reply to you, you no, said, no you are the one who's saying you are the one who's saying that I have a stupid logic and you asking me to reply is it is that correct only interested in busting you are not interested in talking with points and with logical arguments you're all right let me ask you a question now did your prophet did your prophet die and he was he was routing his stink did he stink or not son listen did he stink or did he stink or not did your prophet stink or not informed muslim speak did, to you you, did you, you, you want to why you don't answer I, I thought you want to call me to debate me it look like you want to just to talk to yourself we have a topic we want to finish it you asking me to reply to you and you call me foolish look at this you guys look at this look at this he said foolish christian prince foolish logic Quran also says Jesus will die one day Quran did not say anywhere Jesus will never die I mean this is how stupid you Muslims are you say if Jesus is God should not die right yes okay but then yes, you sir. say but then you say that one day will die how Jesus is just a man and he will die one day listen I will talk to you only one condition you speak five minutes then you will give me no 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 it, it's a crossfire you can talk you can you can interrupt you no problem because people want to enjoy the fight it's, it's a boxing match now answer me how he will die one day but yet he is just a man how this happened how this not happened to Muhammad why Muhammad is dead why Allah did not make Muhammad die one day CP listen CP your kind of online argument is good for high school boys who are like hippies and you are same like a hippie The hippie you know is your prophet who color his hair red because he want to be a redhead he, he put eyeliner in his eyes because he look he want to look like a girl who pissed like a woman when he is sitting so don't talk about the hippies for your prophet is a hippie he put his head in the front in, in the inside the shirt of a man and he kissed him in his side this is a behavior of a gay of a hippie of a homo now answer me why you, Jesus is the one that did not die until now I want to know why what is the reason evangelist CP what is the reason answer don't don't quit don't don't jump don't jump what people want to know that whoever believes your Bible says whoever believes in Abdul, Jesus will not Abdul Abdul don't change the topic why see, Jesus is not dead until now we want to know he is just a man as you say he is just a prophet like everybody the Quran says all messengers before Muhammad they pass away. Is that true? In the way of Allah, do not call them that. They Abdul, are, but people say, and you think that that's a you, false. You are not answering. You are not answering. You are not answering. Hello. The Quran says. The Quran says all messengers they die before Muhammad. Is that correct? CP one Christian who lived. Are you going to answer or not? Are you going to and answer so, or not? Or you were here to complain only that I did not give you enough candies? Is it true that the Quran says all messengers before Muhammad they die? Yes or no? PCP, I'm not going to listen to you. Either you agree, I will talk five minutes. <laughs> <and then you laughs> talk. Who cares if you agree or not? You are calling me to get me busted. Get me busted. I want to see how you can get me busted. I'm giving you freedom to speak as much as you want, to interrupt me as much as you like. Let us see who is here is going to laugh at who is it true the Quran says that there's no prophet before Muhammad all of them they die yes or no CP you you don't your yes or no the Quran says wama Muhammadun illa rasulun qad khalat min qablihi rusul what khalat khalat mean what CP, what khalat boy boy what khalat min qablihi rusul mean what khalat Mean, probably what has hus, 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 I will spank you I will make your ass red like that like, like the ass of a monkey in the zoo what what khalat mean I want to know it's 51 according to your Bible listen answer answer you see our, guys you see he changed the topic because he's a coward he never talk about it he post he post in YouTube saying reply to this and now we are replying but he don't want to talk about it no more Answer does it does it's it say in the Quran all messengers before Jesus before Muhammad sorry all of them they are dead yes or no John 8 51 says does it say yes or no the word he will never answer me and then you can quote from me from the Bible no problem does it say that all messengers before Muhammad are dead yes or no one Christian CP we bring one Christian who can die CP John 8 51 ZB 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 listen listen ZB listen ZB CV is going to make you the joke of everybody is it true that the Quran the stupid Quran says all messengers before Muhammad are dead yes or no defend your faith so defend your faith ZZ ZB ZB is it true that Muhammad that your prophet huh, the one who claimed to be a prophet he just made an error 
He said all messengers before him they die. Is it true or he was wrong? Question is that you you have proved Islam is wrong. So I am asking you. No, no, I prove nothing. No, no, I want to spank you before I prove Islam wrong because if I don't spank you, then we prove nothing yet. You have to answer to prove it wrong. We did not prove it. Prove it yet. You have to say yes or no. And that Islam is false, and you they believe. You no, know, we did not do it yet. You see, you are escaping the, the fun. I want to spank you. I want to spank you and spank your prophet. You are jumping over it because you are scared. Is it true that your prophet said that all messengers before Muhammad they die? Yes or no? Speak about your faith. That's why you are only believing Islam, Islam, Muhammad, Muhammad, Quran, Quran. You don't want to say anything about Bible. Abdul, you know, Abdul, 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 you don't even know how to say Quran correctly. Say Quran correctly. I want to hear it. Say Quran. Say Quran. And prove your faith. Say, say the word correctly. Say the word correctly. I challenge you to say the name of your book correctly. Say it. I want to hear it. Speak about eight fifty one. Come on, CP. Say it. Say it. Yeah. I want to. I want to hear you. You don't even know how to say the name of your book correctly. I mean, how donkey you are. You Speak Muslim. You want to teach us our book, but you do not know even to say the name of your book. What's what's Speak wrong with those Pakistani Abdul Pakistani Pakistani? I'm going to spank you many many tani. Now answer. Did your Quran made a stupid mistake when he said all the messengers of Allah they die before Muhammad? Yes or no? Whoever obeys my word will not taste death. John eight fifty one. Oh, so what? Okay, mean? okay, no problem, no problem. You can quote for me. Listen, Abdul. Listen, let's make an agreement. You can quote for me in the answer as much as you want. Answer me, please. Answer me. Be a civil person. Be a civil person. Be a civil person. When the Quran says all messengers before Muhammad they pass away, they die. Was making a mistake or not? Yes or no? About your faith, your whole yes, video is yes, about Islam. Yes or no? You see, you are a donkey. You are a kid. Let your mom call me. Let your mom call me. You just get get lost, guys. Do you see? He don't want to answer. He asked me in YouTube to reply. He is saying my logic is a stupid. It is your Quran, the stupid book. Call me back if you if you change your mind. Answer, Abdul. Because we will not skip to talk about different topic unless you answer first and Then you can quote for me as many as you wish from the Bible. No problem Call me back call me back What kind of a stupid God he says such a thing Yes, Abdul, how are you? CP, how's, you how's your dad doing? How's your dad doing? Is he doing fine? How is your dad doing? Let me let me ask you a question. How is your dad? Did you did you did your like is your dad going to die soon or maybe one day after one million year? Your call, CP. Why are you afraid? Why you you, are you, you are a potato? You will not answer me. Is it true the Quran made a mistake when he said all messengers before Muhammad they die? Yes or no? Uh, I ask you a question. You uh, you are supporting too much. About, you are attacking Islam too much. But now you, I'm not attacking Islam, my friend. I'm spanking you. Forget about well, Islam. Today I'm going to spank you. I'm not going to spank Muhammad. My spank is especially today for for you. So answer me. Is it true in the Quran? It says, "Listen, I'm not going to spank Muhammad. I promise you, Muhammad, he have enough spanking for the coming two thousand years from now." I want to spank you. Answer me. Is that a stupid God? The one you follow? He says all messengers before Jesus did before Muhammad they die So how you say to me that Jesus will die one day if the Quran says all messengers before Muhammad they pass away CP don't be like a coward CB, 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 Pakistani boy answer answer. I want to spank you Are you spanked or not yet? So answer why why do you want to answer answer? I mean, it's very really simple. It's very really simple and listen, listen, answer and then quote the verse for me from the Bible. You are more than welcome. Is it true the Quran saying that or I'm making things up? How do you prove from your Bible Jesus is God? How do you prove from I'll prove it to you from the Quran? You don't believe in the Bible anyway, do you? So you don't believe in the Islamic scripture. So why are no, you because you because you are a Muslim Abdul? So I have to prove it to you from the Quran. You are a high school level boy arguing. You are a silly. You are a prophet. Do not know how to read, how to write. So if you so, are, so if you are complaining about high school, go and ask your prophet how he can read his name. If we put the donkey, the word donkey, and the word Muhammad to Muhammad, and say to him, Muhammad, which one is your name? He will not know. He might pick up the donkey. So listen, don't talk about school. Your prophet never been to a school. That's why he makes stupid mistakes like this. So answer. When your Allah, he said that all messengers before Muhammad they pass away. Was Allah a donkey or he was a high school student? I don't believe in Islam. So are you going to answer or not? Are you going to answer or not? Are you going to answer or not? Why do why you don't want to answer? What's the problem? What's the problem? What's the problem? Be honest, be honest. Be, be honest, be honest. Why why do you want to answer? Why you don't why do you want to answer?
Hey, don't you answer? I mean, how many times I need to repeat the question so you can answer? Are, are, let us make it simple. Are you going to answer or not? Yes or no? Are you, are you going to answer? I promise you, I will answer you your question. I'm the one who asked the question first. Then you give me the question, I will answer you. No problem. Now, answer. Is it true what the Quran says or no? Is it true? Asking so from Islam to the Muslim. So I am asking. You are not a Muslim. You are a Sufi. You are not a Muslim. You are a Sufi. The one who created your sect is a hooker. She used to open her legs like a victory sign to everybody in the street. Her name is Rabbi Al Adawiyah. Is that true? Is that, is that a true? Is that a true? Is that a true? Yes or no? It's a lie or no? Um, it's not matter to you. You are a Sufi. Your creator of your sect is a hooker. Is that a true? CP, you need to wake up to yourself. Listen, no, I don't want to wake up. I want to watch the creation, the creator of the Sufi sect, the woman who opened her legs to everybody. She had a flag. Is that true? She have a flag. My is that a true? Is that a true yeah. that the creator of your sect she used to have a flag in the top of her house? Come on, CP. Red the flag. But, okay. You don't want to answer, right? You're ashamed. You're stupid. Look, guys, look at this guy. He, he's yeah. saying he want to debate me, but he wouldn't want to answer. <laughs> he want to just ask me questions. Debate, wait, Abdul. Wait, let me tell you. Yeah, let let me tell you what debate is. Yeah. Debate is. Yeah. I ask you, and you ask me. That's this is the Abdul, son, son of, son of Rabia, son of Rabia. Listen, debate is. I ask you, and you ask me. Do you agree? Do you agree? Yes. Listen, listen. If you want to debate, if you want to debate, you you ask me, and I ask you. Do you agree that debate is you, me, and you asking each other? Do you agree? Not a debate. You're a Do you agree or not? You don't have no. <laughs> I don't have no idea, right? <laughs> I love it. Do you agree that a debate means you can ask me and I can ask you, yes or no? Whether there is a rabbit in the moon, those kind of places you are. You listen, are school, listen, you are like you listen, are. listen, listen. You are a potato. You are, you are a you are a homo like your prophet, aren't you? You are a homo, aren't you? This is why. This is why. This is why you are afraid. If I ask you a question, you will be spanked. Now answer. Why you don't dare to ask me a question and I ask you a question? This is what the debate is. is so this? Do you agree? Question. Listen, but potato, don't waste my time. Don't waste my time. Do you agree that debate is you ask me and I ask you yes or no? CP, your Bible, you, New Testament, you believe Paul's book. Is shut up. Paul is your prophet, you idiot. And actually, I'm going to talk about it. Guys, look what this idiot he said. Let me show you his post in YouTube. You see the coward, he will not answer. Because he know he's a donkey like he's a prophet and he's no match. Okay, they don't want to answer. Why are you are calling again? Do you want to answer Why? or not? Do you want to answer or not? Do you want to answer or not? Do you want to answer or not? Are you your puppet, your rabbits, they are here. Shut up, son of Muta. Coward. I will make everybody laugh at you. Son of Muta, how are you? Muhammad <laughs> waiting in the grave for you. You are already being screwed. Shame on Muhammad, shame on you. Son of Muta, shame on you. Shame on Muhammad, shame on you. You don't want to ask me any question. I will not ask you any question. This is something you call a debate because you are a donkey, all of you. Shame on you, Muhammad, shame on you. Follower, his donkey, all of you. What kind of debate is debate? You don't want me to ask you a question. You don't want to, you want to ask me only questions. Right, this is a debate. What kind of debate is debate? Listen, potato, son of Muta. Debate is I asked you and you ask me. How what's wrong with you? Do you want to debate me or not? Say yes or no. Do you want to debate me or not? Do you want to debate? Do you want to debate me or not? Do you want to debate me or not? Are you willing to debate me? Are you willing to debate me? Are you are you willing to debate me? Are you willing to debate me? Potato, my name is Zachary. We Muslims, we debate the Christian friends, and the condition is the, is the following: that when we talk to Christian friends, he should not ask us question, because of the prophet. Because of the prophet, you know, we as Muslims, we don't allow the question. We can ask you question only, because we are Muslims. So we can debate with you, and the condition is very clear. We can ask you. You cannot ask a question. Are we clear now? I mean, how stupid donkey you are! All that I'm saying to you, you can ask me whatever you wish. And I want to ask you whatever I wish. So, Abdul, do you agree or not? Or I will block you, kid. Do you agree or not? Do you agree or not? Do you agree or not? CP. Do you agree or not? The God of Israel or the God of Paul, the messenger of Satan. Okay, okay, okay. We will go, guys. Is he talking about, is, did he talk about Paul? Did he talk about Paul? 
Okay, how come the Quran? How come the Quran? You don't. He says Paul is a messenger of God. Am I saying the Paul is a messenger of God? No. The Quran says that. No, no. The Quran says that. No, not you. The donkey, the author of the Quran. He said that Paul is a messenger of God. Do you agree or not? Let me refute you, CB. Let me refute you. Refute me, yeah. Bukhari. You can read those hadith. www.muslimsforjesus.org. In that way, you can. Here we go. It's in the front of me, Abdul. It's in the front of me. Those you said, Abdul, Abdul, potato, potato. You said. You said that there is no prophet between Jesus and Muhammad. Is that true? Yeah, that's what true. GP. That's okay, read with me then. Read with me. Let us laugh at you. Let us laugh at your religion. This is your post. You are the one who said that Muhammad said, and this is the post on YouTube. I will show it to everybody. Oh, read with me. Right. This is Tafsir Ibn Abbas. And Ibn Kathir said the same. That there is a three messengers sent by Allah, and those are the messengers of Jesus. In, 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 in Abba, Ibn Abbas, he said that they are Simon. And Thomas and the third is Peter. Do you agree? According to Jesus, there is no other prophet. In Shut up. Son of a muta. Shut up, you idiot. You are just a kid. Like like your mother. Aisha. Get lost. You see, guys, those Muslim kids, they are seriously kids. Let us see here. Uh, uh, uh. <coughs> Get lost. Guys, look what he posted here, this kid. You see, they make themselves in trouble. He posted for me this hadith saying that Muhammad, he said, that there is no messenger between him and Jesus. There's no messenger between him and Jesus. Who said that? Muhammad. The prophet P H B B U H is said, there's no prophet between me and him. That is Jesus. Look at the donkey prophet Muhammad. And this is why this guy he don't want to he keep jumping like a monkey. He didn't want to talk about what he posted. How there's no prophet between Muhammad and Jesus. Yet the Quran says that there's a three messengers and according to Ibn Kathir and many other scholars and he himself he mentioned Ibn Kathir the one or let us say the most strong one between those prophets is Peter my screen is off oh okay here we go do you see guys his post this is his post this is the post of this Sufi who is a Sufi, his sect created by a hooker. A hooker who get old and now no more, no more business. Nobody is interested on in her private part. And this is what all the hookers in the Middle East, they do. When they get so old, suddenly they go to Hajj and they kiss the black stone and she wear white clothes and suddenly she is the Virgin Mary. Forgive me God for saying that. When Muhammad he said there's no prophet between me and him and he meant Jesus as you see and this is the post of this idiot by his own choice he just proved to us that he is a false prophet for the Quran says it clearly with no question that Allah speaking of three messengers the Muslim scholars they have a very uh, opinion about the three messengers all of them but all of them agree that those are the messengers of Jesus in Ibn Kathir he said that this is Paulus Paulus which means Paul Ibn Abbas the cousin of Muhammad he called for us two names plus one which mean he sent two names first, two messengers, Simon and Thomas. And the third one, the strong one, was Simon Peter. This is the cousin of Muhammad. But the donkey he just posted for me from Sahih al Bukhari a hadith saying that Muhammad said, Between me and Jesus, there's no messengers. So who are they those? <laughs> Who are they those?
three, not only one. And this is a proof that Jesus must be God. How Simon, the Canaanite, as they call him here, and Thomas, and Simon Peter, three messengers of Jesus became messengers of Allah. It doesn't make sense, does it? How they became messengers of Allah? They are those, everybody knows that those are the messengers of Jesus. That means Jesus must be God. For nobody can make you a messenger except God. So Muhammad here, he made a stupid mistake and his followers as usual, they are copy paste. So when this guy, he copied for me this hadith, which is saying between me and Jesus, there is no messenger except me. And well, he forgot what he have in the Quran. This idiot Muhammad forgot what he said before. He forgot already that he said that the three messengers of Jesus, they are there. This is why you want you see this guy he want to call me he just want to ask questions he don't want to answer anything have you ever heard of a debate based on one person ask questions i said to him many times you can ask me and i ask you that's what debate is about no 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 <laughs> no don't <laughs> you see how hero he is cowards cowards Let him talk, all the talk I let him, I did not let him talk, get out. All the talk I let him talk, I did not let him talk. Talk about what? He is the one who posted the refutation supposedly, calling me names, and it challenged me to reply. And then when he called, I said to him, is it okay if you ask me and I ask you? No. <laughs> and then a stupid donkey in the text, he says to me, let him talk. I did not let him talk yet. He didn't want to talk about it. This is what the Muslims, they do, my friend, because they are coward. They will start quoting for you verse after verse. Before you finish the first answer, they will give you the second verse. He don't want you to talk about his religion. Or what I'm saying you ask me and I ask you you accuse me of being stupid about the video before and you post for me the text as we see and now I'm getting you busted what kind of a prophet he says stupid things like this there's no messenger between him and between Jesus so who are they those Peter and Simon Peter and Simon the Canaanite and Thomas and who is Paul? No, no, even I don't want him to answer first. You see, I, I'm just asking him, do you are you willing to take a today to make a debate? You ask me and I ask you, he don't want to do that. You see the cover, they don't want to do that. They don't want to they don't they want to have a debate where they only ask you questions and they call it debate. He don't want to take a questions. When you pause this and you say you want to call me, that's meaning you want to prove what you say there. But you don't want to do that no more because you notice that you are a donkey and you are no match. So why you are calling me? The first question I ask him, what do you mean that Jesus will, will die one day? <laughs> one day? <laughs> one day upon the time... I will die maybe a billion years from now, but I'm just a human being like everybody. But everybody die in 50, 60 years, but except me, I will live for millions and millions and millions of years. But one day I will die. I mean, do you see the logic of the Abdul? Jesus is just a man like everybody, but he have no father. His mother is a virgin. He is the word of God. Shaitan cannot touch him he is the spirit of God proceeding from him and he is called holy in the Quran 
and he did not die because nobody can kill him for who dare to kill him because Allah is protecting him but Muhammad died by poison like a rat because Allah don't care to protect him but he cared to protect Jesus I mean how fantastic this logic is how Muhammad died Guys, Muhammad died by poison like a rat. Okay, so why Allah did not protect Muhammad, but he want to protect Jesus? Don't we deserve to know why? Both are targeted by the Jews. Right? Both. Okay. Why Muhammad is not protected by Allah? Any Muslim have an answer? Why only Jesus is a protected? I want to know what is unique about him. In the hadith it says, Muhammad said, that I feel that the poison I ate in Khaybar is cutting my orta. What? The orta of the Prophet is being cut off? The greatest is the prophet ever, the one who is bigger than Buddha, is smaller than Krishna. The only prophet who have a special penis, the power of 40 men. The only prophet who he is allowed to have sex with as many as any women she give her panty off to him. And he sniff it, and if he like it, he take it. And this prophet, amazing prophet, the greatest man in earth, he is dying like a rat. The prophet of his and his element of death, which he died, used to say, "What? What? Used? If? 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 How many time? How many time? This guy he keeps saying, uh, my orta, my orta, my orta is cutting off. My orta, my orta, my orta, my orta, 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 orta. Muhammad, are you okay when I go to the bathroom? No, no, it's my orta, my orta, my orta, my orta is cutting off. <laughs> you know, I'm prophet, is it hurt? I'm telling you, my orta. No, I, uh, uh. I'm prophet, why you are crying? By the way, what is your orta? Why you are pointing your finger at your nose? Your orta is there. So Jesus was saved by God and the prophet was not saved by God. Jesus, nobody can kill him. Muhammad, anyone can kill him, even a woman. <laughs> and what, what, hold on, hold on. The story here is really crazy. Do you know why? Because the women, the, Muhammad, he asked this woman, why you did this? She said to him, I said to myself, if you are a prophet of God, Allah will save you. If you are a false prophet of God, Allah will not save you. And Muhammad, he said to her, he was sure, <laughs> he was sure. He said, Allah will not allow you to do so. And I challenge any Muslim to say this is not a true what Muhammad said. Allah will not allow you to do so. He will go. He is dying like a rat. So this is the, the test. It was a test. It was a challenge to Allah. If Muhammad is a prophet, Allah will save him. If not, he will die like a rat. This is exactly what happened. And the Muslim, they want to say to us, Without knowing that Jesus must be God. For Jesus, nobody touch him. Nobody can touch him. God Himself, He cloned someone like Jesus, like we 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 Allah is coming. You know what we 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 Jesus, don't worry, Jesus, I'm coming. We 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 and Allah, what he do? He cloned someone look like Jesus. Why Allah did not clone someone like Muhammad and he ate the poison goat? Any Abdul? No, I don't want to talk to him no more. I, I don't have time for kids. Shouting like crazy. I'm not a kid, my friend.
we give him a chance to talk like a man he's a kid okay this guy I think his mother she gave birth to him in uh, vacation she was away from his dad doing muta that's why he have no courage to speak so there is no messenger between me and Jesus and we found that there's a three messengers at least between him and Jesus that alone is enough to prove that Muhammad is a scam do you see it and this is your own interpretation Muslim not my book this is not in the book of uh, John this is not in the book of uh, you know uh, etc Christian Prince this is your books. This is the cousin of your prophet himself. If we go to Ibn Kathir, Ibn Kathir is make it even more horrible because Ibn Kathir he quote that the third strong messenger of Allah is Bulos, which means Paul. Who is a brave Muslim would like to call me, but he is willing to ask question and to answer questions. Guys, is that fair? Is that fair? You ask and you will be asked but to call only to ask and to jump like a monkey from a question to question that is not a debate this guy he said when to debate me but he didn't want to allow me to ask him questions he only want to ask me questions that's not fair interfaith I have proposal for you in the front of everybody if you agree in text you say yes I will let you call me immediately do you agree that I ask you a question and then you ask me a question say yes guys watch watch do you agree that you I ask you a question and then you ask me a question yes or no do you agree say yes one a question from you one question from me say yes what do you think guys do he have an excuse or what I'm asking for he can ask me and I can ask him but they don't want to do that they are coward they are potatoes they are no match I'm waiting why you don't say yes hello 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 hey uh, Christian Prince Adrian Hey Adrian, we are live on air by the way, in case you do not know. Yes, all I right. just wanted to ask you a question actually, if, like, oh, when you're ready. All oh, right. Sure, I'm always ready. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. And I really appreciate the uh, the presentation that you gave to our group the other day. Still hearing good things there. Um, question I want to ask is I listened to your last um, presentation, I think you gave it yesterday. But you said that uh, Muhammad was stupid because he took so much joy out of life for his followers. Uh, yet he did anything he wanted and I just wanted you to comment on you know maybe that was by design uh, to make the followers lives so miserable that the prospect of suicide is it's not such a significant step for them because their life is miserable anyway uh, their wife hates them they don't have a pet that loves them they can't be creative with their own special abilities they just have to try to be like Muhammad and everything and I wonder if it just creates a life that is so uh, frustrating that it's just easy to just go and blow yourself up i wonder if you could just comment on your thoughts on that you know uh you see that the purpose muhammad he did that first of all it was because he's hypocrite you know this is the main reason he is hypocrite so he created rules for for people who uh, they follow him supposedly but he himself don't want to follow it i don't think it was uh, about uh, uh, you know like the suicide thing but this guy is the let us say he is he is driven by desire sexual desire mostly mm -hmm. so he always think about himself and he don't care what the rest do this is why he have his make a special privilege for him his own so uh, 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 you cannot have more than four wives i can have not only four wives i can have a limited number of women for i am a wow. prophet uh, you you know he have the fifth of every attack uh, 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 he you know the booty and he have uh, uh, the best of the attack too he made verses about them in the Quran in the same time uh, you know if you go in the Quran uh, you will see the Quran says that those who they follow Muhammad Allah he bought from them their souls in Allah hashtara min al-mu'mineen anfusahum 
وأموالهم بأن لهم الجنة يقتلون في سبيل الله فيقتلون Now here you will see the concept of suicide This is in chapter 9 verse 111 Because it says you they, they, they die and they kill Now how they die and they kill This is the devil speaking How you can be how you can be dead and yet you are killing people you know because it says you 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 so you are going to fight for the sake for the sake of Allah and this death this death is you die to kill you die to kill however the promise for the Muslims is in heaven not in earth the earth is for Muhammad and the heaven for Muhammad, but because Muhammad is sure that there's no heaven, so he was he wanted to have anything in earth. You know what I mean? Yes. It was not enough for him to have a normal uh, reward because he knew there's no heaven for him. So he wanted and to so have as much as he want, and that is a clear sign of a hypocrisy. Actually, even, so even the Quran, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, like Muhammad, he. Uh, uh, he forced the Muslims that before uh, you meet the Prophet, you have to pay him money. I mean, imagine, let us say you are a Prophet, but before I meet you, I have to pay you money. And that money is, have to be paid to the Prophet before even you speak to him. Now, the Muslim, they will say to you, oh, this is a money, he will give it to the poor what do you mean people they pay zakat already that is for the poor right you know same time if you go in chapter 9 verse 103 it says take from their money alms so you may purify them cleanse them so the money you pay to muhammad will purify your sin so muhammad they claim the second you make a donation for him is the same time where your sin is forgiven since when making a donation will make your sin forgiven right you know and the verse in the front so, of us and this is the translation of the muslims now by the way that guy is the one who do not know a brother adrian is a great person i met him in person just a few days ago he is the one who invited me to the the church meeting in a uh, different state and i have the honor to sit with him and uh, we have a very good time together and he is the one actually uh, he, he was the reason for this uh, event to happen so I want to say actually, thank you Christian Prince it was my it was my honor to sit with you thank uh, you my friend you're, you're doing an amazing work of education I just thinking as you're talking is so opposite to John 10 10 where Christ says the thief comes not but to steal to kill and to destroy I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly so Christ came so that his followers would have more and more life, uh, not not death. Yeah. Well, everything from Muhammad is about him. This is why you will see that if you ask a Muslim, in the book of Ibn al-Arabi, Ibn al-Arabi, he said the Prophet, he have 16 privilege. 16 privilege. More than 12 of them or 13 is about sex. You know? And any women, one of the privilege, that if the prophet his eyes fall into a woman her husband he must divorce her so the prophet he can have her now what kind of a privilege God want to give to a man like this that if it's I amazing. like your wife you have to divorce her for me and that because I'm a prophet why couldn't they see through that Christian Prince why, why couldn't well, they trust me they see something wrong no no they see they see you see but because they, they, it's a business you see those Muslims who make website and they try to defend Islam and they grow a beard they are making good money from this business most of them they knew you know especially those who they are they claim they claim that they have knowledge they knew that Muhammad is a scam this is why this guy I don't know if you heard him he called me but he didn't want to answer anything he is the one who made the accusation he is the one who called me foolish but when we challenge him about what he said he didn't want to talk about it because Muslims they are copy paste there's one of two cases either is a copy paste you do not know and don't understand what he's pasting or he know but he is making a business otherwise there's no there's no between Wow. there's no between so it's all self-interest it, it, it is yeah it is you know because even even you know why I want to believe in Muhammad what is the point 
the point is if you believe in me Allah will give you a lot of versions all right so now I, uh, I have a contract with God he is the vagina vendor and he provide me with any like a huge number of vaginas and the purpose is to make me happy if I believe in him now ask yourself here do we really support the slavery in heaven because those women those women are made for what those women I do not know them right I never met them mm -hmm. like there's no relationship between yeah. me and no, 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 yeah. no relationship at all she don't know me I don't know her I don't know her name I don't know where she is what, what? so I go there I found a, a lot of women in my bedroom and they are naked and ready for <laughs> sex you know so this is a form of a slavery and abuse yeah. in the same time Muhammad he said that every Muslim will have 80,000 child according to Muslims they will serve only but as I understand from the Quran it says they will not bleed now why in the world somebody want to bleed bleed from what now why to make one person happy you want to abuse 80,000 children wow. just to make one person happy okay one up one person they believe in God so what okay take him to heaven give him a you know why why the Quran speak of, of Adam and Eve even though Eve is not mentioned by name but to speak about the wife why Allah he agreed still in the story from the Torah that there is a man and his wife in heaven but yet when we go back to heaven we don't go as wife and husband wife. Mm, good question you know for everything in this religion is a, is a is a is a collection of cults you know and by the way people are asking why we did not show the video live <laughs> in the maybe next time next time next time yes, yes. Well, you know, it was a good session and I just would uh, commend you to all your, your your listeners to have you come out and uh, talk and educate it was amazing to me to witness firsthand uh, people starting position because I had you know three years of research into this so I understand a certain amount and I've been listening to you for quite a while uh, but they did not have any background and uh, you know you were there to answer their questions and you know each question would lead to more questions and you know when one hand went down five more went up yeah and uh, there was just constant like people have a hunger they need to understand and to have a, a credible person who's well researched who backs up what they say with with specific references of the Islamic body of text uh, I, I think they just found it extremely enlightening and, uh, and and you are happy to do this uh, so I can only say to your listeners it was very worthwhile uh, people were talking about it the next day how valuable it was and uh, and really all you did was answer their questions but each time you answer it it would lead to another question which would then lead to another question right and, and we, we go and to more topics and you remember it yeah. was supposedly one hour right and we finished yeah, supposed to be one hour guys we started for one hour supposedly and then we finished almost in the middle of the night you know <laughs> I actually had to leave you it was going so late yeah it's <laughs> yeah. so it was only one hour but because people don't want they want to go everybody have more questions but but all of them they are really tired they came from everywhere and it's they were driving some of them drove I heard the next day some drove yeah, uh, a thousand a thousand miles to get there right so um, they were tired but yet they have a lot of questions and as you know but I think it, and Adrian is, so a, is a first-hand witness any question you ask you will find the answer we are not the same as the Muslims. We don't run away from questions. This is why this coward, he called me, he called me. He only want to ask questions, but he didn't want me to ask him a question. You see, I accept that in a seminar because people, they are there to learn from me. They are not debating me. Mm -hmm. But if you want to debate me, you have to accept that you ask me mm -hmm. and I ask you. But this coward, the Muslim who was calling me, he don't want me to ask him a question. He only want to ask, because you remember your debate, uh, Adrian, with the Muslim uh, a few weeks ago? Mm -hmm. He was a throwing question after a question. Why? Because he didn't want to give you a chance to ask him a question. Mm -hmm. they, af they are afraid of us, uh, you yeah. know, because they have no answers. They are followers of religion, believe Allah knows best. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know? But also, I think what it shows is when people can get straight answers, they want them. So I think you were very, just very straightforward, and you could show, you could back up what you're saying with references. And I think that's what they really appreciated that for the first time, they were getting straight answers the, the, the point of education is to give straight answers not to play games the one you see those who play games or those who want to say I want to talk only about this topic today right now right uh, they are not they are they have no knowledge to take questions out of the topic because you know if, if you know if you tell me 
I am going to talk about etc. after two months. I can go and search all the internet mm -hmm. and print tons mm -hmm. of papers and make summaries and then I will look like a professor in my mm -hmm. in my topic. Mm -hmm. But this is not really uh, the, the case. A person who have knowledge, it doesn't matter what the question, he have an answer for it. You see, I think that creates excitement. I think once the audience came to understand that they can ask you anything and you will give a sincere and direct and straightforward answer to anything they ask with references i think it creates a spirit of excitement like wow we can this is an opportunity to learn and so people you know that it creates momentum in terms of the questions being asked you know uh, yeah and uh, you know uh, people by the way uh, they don't have a, like a, an experience like this before maybe uh, because right. usually it is just a presentation somebody put a slide in the screen mm -hmm. and uh, the slide is uh, is a pre-made and uh, you know but this is different we, I don't do that for a very simple reason I'm there going to teach uh, uh, and to, to answer questions and this is why always I like people to engage with me ask me questions for the purpose of me being there it's just not to give a lecture it is to answer questions you know, questions yeah, which nobody usually able to answer before or you know because of the the, the way the system most of most of the time is presentation is uh, is one way a uh, one person talking you know one way yeah yeah it's one way and then there is the, the rest are receiving mm -hmm. uh, uh, for me I, I like people to talk to me and like now this Muslim I would love to talk to him but he don't want to answer anything he just want to ask me questions and the purpose of asking I know is not to get the answer before I finish answering his question he will give me another verse and he will jump like monkey from place to place so he doesn't really want the answer you no know, because those questions already they are answered one one million time by Christians you know mm -hmm. but they don't want to they don't want to speak about the, the the fear is don't talk about my religion for I know nothing about mm -hmm. it so and I think what's what's also interesting uh, CP is you answer very straightforwardly you don't mix words but at the same time it's very obvious you care about Muslims you, you you're not just doing this just to destroy reputations you actually care about these people and they're trapped in darkness and and you want to do everything you can to get them out of that darkness but at the same time you're not going to play around and mince words you're just gonna speak the truth they cannot play with me. You can, I will not allow that. You see, this is why mm -hmm. they fear talking to me because they can play with other people. They can go around it. You know, right. with me, I, right. I am very firm in my question, in my position. I will not let the Muslims play around. You see, a Muslim, the way I see him, is like you are getting inside a room and there is a rat and this room have no corners. Mm. You know, and you have to chase this rat and there's a lot of furniture. So he he tried to go all over the place <laughs> and it's now how you can catch him But you cannot do that with the Christian Prince even if the room have no corners. I will corner you And I think that demonstrates the power of knowledge that those of us who don't have this knowledge It's easy for us to get tied up in knots and for people to play tricks on us But the more knowledge we have the less furniture there is to hide behind this is why he is afraid from talking to me about the topic he chose. He chose the topic, not me. Mm -hmm. You see, this is his topic. He is the one who posed for me in YouTube, calling me foolish names and trying to correct me. And when we talk about what he what he said, he didn't want to talk about it because yeah. he knew I'm going to get him busted. Now, see, with you, with you, they can choose the topic. They can choose the, the, the absolutely. Hadith, they can choose the, the scholar, which tafsir do they like? Uh, Whatever they like, you can go there. Adrian, I mean, that's, that's I just I, I just said to the guy. Call me right now if you are uh, if you have the courage but just agree That you can ask me and I can ask you one question from you one question from you. He don't want to do it You know, I'm not saying I'm not saying oh, I, I am the only one when I ask questions but That's not fair. It's a debate debate. You ask me and I ask you they don't want to do that, you know and If they do that, you know, they want to do it like the five time uh, five minutes because five minutes You promise you will not talk in those five minutes and then he take the mic. He say nothing about the topic like you know, uh, like there's a guy. His name is Shabir Ali. I don't know if you know him. This guy, yes, I know him. Yeah, yeah. This guy, he he uh, he's a, he's a player. He don't answer. He never answer a question. But he cannot do that with me. I will not let it happen. So with a guy like that, right, who has spent a lot of time researching Christianity, a lot of time he knows this, the the different Islamic doctrines, 
and scriptures. But from your perspective, he's running a business. It's just the way. Ali, Shabir Ali, he know nothing about Islam, and he know nothing about Christianity. This guy is a scam, and I say it clearly. You see, ABN TV, they schedule a debate between me and him, and he agree. He agree to have a debate with me, and that was many years ago. Then he went and he searched in the internet. And he found that this is the guy is going to make me a shish kebab. So he called APN, saying to them, I am busy with my PhD. Hmm. And since then, he is busy with his PhD. <laughs> you know, those people are, uh, are a scam. They, they don't know nothing. This guy, he don't even know how to read the, two, two words in the Quran. And he claimed to be a sheikh. You know, I, I, you know, he can be busted very easy. But this is why they want to debate. Uh, an American guy who is who know nothing about Islam or he knew a few hadith from here few verses from there and we know exactly we watched some of his videos before we know exactly what he's going to quote for us and there is no surprises but speaking to me it is it is a it is it is a debate of surprises because you don't know <laughs> you know you remember you remember when in the in the in the seminar when when I uh, somebody asked me I said we said we spoke about nothing yet after like five hours talking yeah because, <laughs> I just scratched the surface yeah because because you did not pick up the file yet you see I have like my my head is full of files so the, the question will make me pick up the file from there all right so we have maybe endless number of, 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 of files and if you don't ask me the question that file will stay closed so right. the Muslims they knew that they knew that there's a there's people who have limited knowledge and they challenged them only and when this guy like this guy he called me suppose he's excited to talk to me he's just calling to call names and he will not mm -hmm. let me ask him a question mm -hmm. and he only want to ask a question mm -hmm. so what if this is the case here we go you ask me the question in the text i'm answering you don't call me so what do you think happens with those muslims who really have believed in this this doctrine it's all they've known then let's say they have interaction with you and they get exposure to another way of thinking and they begin to see flaws in something that they believed all their life um what's the thought process there do you think they're afraid and they have too much to lose and so they just stick with it like, you know, what, they went, they went, as i said like some of them they are naive some of them they they grow up in a society they never never heard better you know when i used to live in the middle east honest to god you know like it doesn't matter where you go they are talking about Muhammad even you are taking a shower you hear the, the, the speech in the mosque you are doing mm -hmm. you are doing your business in the bathroom you hear them praising Muhammad you open the TV the TV praising Muhammad you open the radio the radio praising Muhammad you open the school book the books the school wow. book praising Muhammad so wherever you go there's only one person to praise this is why he called himself the praised one to be the mm -hmm. center of the whole universe mm -hmm. and Allah is the, the praise too yeah and Allah the praise too so he is the devil who want everybody to be busy with him now you you, you asked me before about uh, why Muhammad is making restriction there's mm -hmm. additional the additional reason I did not talk about you see if you uh, if you remember as an example Muhammad he said before you have sex with your wife you have to make a prayer Otherwise shaitan he will have he will ride himself around the private part of the man and he will be the one doing the women And then he said to him that if you want to go to the bathroom You have to enter with certain leg or foot and then you have to make a prayer before you enter the bathroom And then he said if you want to leave the house you have to make certain prayer And if you want to sleep you have to make certain prayer and you have if you, if you want to wash you have to make certain prayer So the point is to keep them busy Mm. With the stupid things so they will not have time to use their brain So that's like memorizing all the different names of the 99 names of Allah. Yeah, like you know stupid things keep busy keep busy with stupid things like you have a kid You have a kid you tell him okay, you know what? I'm going to mix the rice with the beans huh? And now your job is to separate them so he spent the day <laughs> Separating them and when he finish you flip it again by mistake supposedly you say oh, sorry I hate it, you know do it again, you know, so the Muslim now from 5 a.m. in the morning, he have nothing to do except doing crazy rituals and crazy, uh, uh, like, imagine you want to go to the bathroom, you have to say a prayer of three minutes. And he told them, if you don't say the, the, the prayer in the bathroom, shaitan will play with your anus and he will go inside. So the, the, this Muslim, his head became heavy with the duty. He have a lot of the duty to do. And this yeah. duty is about how I can protect myself this guy he convinced me 
that anything happened to me around me is going to be a problem and the only way to protect myself is to do this and this and that you know so he will be busy all day and he will not use his brain for a second well CP I'm gonna jump off here I really appreciate uh, everything that you're doing and the education that I've received from you the books that you write when when are your uh, you have a, another book coming out soon when is that gonna I am working in my book but you see I, 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 I get tempted to, to, to start uh, teaching life when a Muslim he pours something I cannot I cannot like I don't I don't know what to, say to do uh, my book is almost finished but I get tempted to uh, to expose them you know otherwise my book will be ready for a long time I hope soon before the end of the year uh, the book will Very be ready, you know in a few days Very maybe. I hope so well keep up the great work and I'll uh, continue to listen online thank you my friend God bless okay, take care bye bye, bye, -bye. bye, -bye. All right. So, guys, going back to our topic. No Muslim can explain to us why his prophet was killed and his God did not protect him. He was killed like a rat. Why the Quran says all messengers before Muhammad pass away, but the Quran make a mistake and says that Jesus did not die. Why the Quran claim that Jesus is not a divine, but yet Jesus is alive for thousands of years? Why Islam says stupid things and teach the opposite? Why Allah is willing to clone someone look like Jesus, to save Jesus, but he is not willing to do the same to Muhammad if Muhammad is the greatest man ever exists in history. Actually, all of us, we knew that Muhammad, when he said that in this hadith, that the prophet in the element of his death, when he died, he said that the orta, the poison he ate in Khaybar, which is the tribe of the Jews he killed, he slaughtered, it's cutting his orta, Muhammad himself, he prophesied about his death. But that prophecy was to get him busted. If you remember Muhammad, he said that Allah said, Allah said, supposedly, that if Muhammad, he fabricated Quran, if he be, if he do, this is chapter 69, verse number 4, or 46, uh, if Muhammad fabricated Quran we are going to cut his artery do you see it Muhammad he prophesy about himself as a liar look what the Quran is saying and if the messenger where in where to invent any saying in our name who is talking supposed to Allah he is the Lord supposedly making it clear that if the messenger he invented anything in the name of Allah Allah will size him by his right hand and we should certainly cut off the artery of his heart but this is exactly what the hadith said. Muhammad said to Aisha, the poison I cut, I ate in Khaybar is cutting my artery. What do you want more? Prove that Muhammad is a false prophet. Imagine I claim to be a prophet and my God says to me if a Christian prince is a liar him die by electricity let us say or by car accident and then exactly this has happened I mean what is the chance to, for someone to be killed by cutting his artery I mean is that normal
I believe what happened here it was our Lord who made Muhammad end in such a way to prove to us that Muhammad is a false prophet it was not the Lord of Islam Muhammad he made a prophecy and he thought this will never happen because come on how this will happen no way it's just a statement figure of a speech that if <laughs> if I'm lying Allah he said he will cut my artery but Muhammad never thought he will die such a way our Lord I believe is the one who wanted to expose him and he made him die as he claimed that if he is inventing words claiming it is coming from God then we should cut his artery so Muhammad made a statement and our Lord he made him get busted now who is a Muslim is willing to call me and he is willing to accept a question and he asked me a question anyone say yes who is a Muslim Abdul Muhammadan is willing to call me and he is willing to take a question from me and a question from him who there is that fair guys am I being fair question by a question who is the Muslim is willing to do it otherwise this is not a debate Guys, look, look, at this, look at this idiot. He said, I'm speaking about the Israeli prophet, buddy. You forgot that the Israeli prophet, they are Muslims, Abdul. Suddenly, the Israeli prophet are the only one is interested in you. How stupid you are. Guys, let me show you. Let me show you. This. Muslims, they have, a, they have a short of intellect. They have no intellect. Look, look. Poor intellect, intellect uh, CP. Slaves. I am talking about Israeli prophet, buddy. <laughs> I thought Moses is a Muslim. I thought Israel is a Muslim. I thought Abraham is a Muslim. Suddenly you are talking about the Israeli prophet. And it doesn't matter. You can talk about whatever you want. Why the one says that all messengers before Muhammad, they die before him. You don't want to admit that your prophet is an idiot. He made a stupid mistake. Because when you say all messengers before Muhammad, they pass away, that means Jesus must be crucified. As simple as that. You just said all of them. And if you read the Muslim translation, they say to you, and some of the prophet pass away. Some of the prophet? <laughs> Where is it? Some. Where is the sum is coming from, Abdul? I mean, may your God, Allah, sum you all together and make you a falafel sandwich. What a bunch of liars. And I am here to get you busted. Now, who's next? Who is the brave Muslim is willing to call me? And there's no conditions. Ask me any question you want. And I ask you any question I want. Who want to do it? Say yes and give me a call. Who is a Muslim is brave enough, not like Muhammad, when there is a fight, he go and hide between the legs of Aisha. Who want to say yes? Hello? Have you ever heard of a debate? Muslim want to debate me just want to ask questions? <laughs> Cowards. You know, I wish, I wish Muslim scholars, they will allow me to do with them the way I ask Muslims to do with me. Who is a Muslim here is willing to organize a debate between me and any Muslim scholar of your choice? Where he can ask me any question he wish and I can ask him any question I wish who want to do that Who is the Muslim want to do me a favor like that? There's a guy his name Namatullah Mumtaz Namatullah Mumtaz 
he wanted to be famous he wanted to be like Zachary Knight this guy he looked in the internet he found some names and they are like names will make him famous so he said to himself I will debate uh, Sam Samoon he will debate David Wood and he will debate the Christian Prince now Abdul you can you can survive with all those names but you can't survive with me go right now and search on YouTube for my debate with him this guy he went mad Anyone remember my debate with the Sheikh of uh, of the Shia in in uh, uh, in USA, the head of the Shia? Huh? Anyone remember? This guy started dancing in TV. He started shaking his head. He, he went crazy. And after the, the debate, the Muslims accused me that I paid him to make Islam look stupid. I paid the Sheikh. To make Islam look stupid, who who is a Muslim here? When I get paid by me to make Muhammad look stupid, I'm serious. This is what they, this is what they accuse the Sheikh. In the best scenario, let me let me find you the, the the video. Hold on. Let me see where it is. Uh, he is the head of the Islamic Shia in USA and he thought but by the way this guy is very smart I have to admit but it did not take me long before I made him shish kebab uh, the bad thing the debate is in Arabic, so you guys you cannot uh, uh, like had the, the, the best of it. Let us see. I'm trying to find the video. Anyway, if any of you knows the ABN uh, channel. Uh, you can find it there, right? You can find the whole debate. Yeah, uh, let's see. Yeah, here we go. This is the debate between me and this uh, Sheikh, the Muslim Sunni Sheikh. Uh, sorry, Shia. This is a Shia. Right. If you move to the end of the debate, you will see how the guy is jumping. وهو الذي نشر الرعب بين الناس وهو الآن سبب الحرب بين الفلسطينيين وبين الإسرائيليين ولست أنا لست أنا من قال يا قوم ادخلوا الأرض المقدسة التي كتب الله لكم هذا إلهك. You see guys, my answer is like a gun machine, automatic gun machine. And the guy he was, but you should see at the end, at the end, this guy he have an interview, four interview with Fox News, trying to make him admit that he is supporting Hezbollah. They could not. I made him admit in this debate. رقم رقم اثنين. رقم اثنين. أريد أريد قوانين القوانين الإلهية القوانين الدينية بالنسبة. Anyway, Muslims are Muslims. It doesn't matter how big you are. I'm willing to take you. You are big. You are small. All of you, at the end of the day, for me, you are small. You are so tiny. Just face it. Your prophet is so tiny. Your God is so tiny. Even his name is Akbar, but which means big, but in fact, he's so small. You see, uh, this Abdul, we don't want uh, to forget to answer his question. He said, is Jesus created or he is a creator? You know, uh, and he posed for us that it says that 
the Bible says that God created Adam in his image you see when always I listen to a Muslim I love don't you know that this is what your prophet said to that God created Adam in his image you don't know obviously you don't know he's a Muslim have you ever see a Muslim you know you don't know let us get to the hadith the Prophet of Allah said Allah created Adam in his image do you see it Muslims do you see it can you explain to me why Muhammad is copying the Old Testament this is the image of who Muhammad he forbid Muslims not to beat a Muslim brother in his face why because he have the image of Allah if any of you fight with his brother he should avoid his face for Allah created Adam in his own image isn't it this is exactly the verse in the book of Genesis isn't it and Muhammad the thief is copying the book of Genesis And Muhammad, because he's a thief, he have his own fabrication always. So he adds some spices to the story. If we go back in the previous hadith, you will see he said that Allah created Adam in his image, and he was 60 cubit tall. Abdul, do you think your prophet was watching? the game of the throne 30 meter tall this is what the size of Adam this is why if you go right now and search for the grave of Adam the Muslim they have a grave for Adam and they have a grave for Noah if you if you see how big the grave is you will not believe it let me show you hold on oh man I will show you and you will laugh Let us see, guys. Please look, take a look at the grave of a prophet Adam or prophet of Islam. Here they don't say which one. Look how long the grave. Look, 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 look. If, 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 if. Because the prophets of Allah, they used to be very tall. Tall. You see, I'm like now, and by the way, I'm shorter than last year. Last year I was really taller. But since the climate changed, I don't know what happened. I shrinked. Look at this, man. Look how big the grave. Ish, 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 ish. All of this is a grave of a guy. What happened? How tall he was? Huh? Muslim Abdul, how how big how big this guy? How big? In the image here, he looked like 30, 40 meter tall long. I mean, do you think really he was that long or that tall? 
Don't you think if look at this guy here, this guy is even longer. This guy he looked like he's 60 meter. Look at this guy here. Oof, 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 oof. I mean the grave is like endless. Hmm. How 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 long do you think my grave should be long? I mean I'm very tall too. You see, in, in my uh, when I went in uh, uh, my previous uh, seminar, uh, uh, the, uh, the airline, they have to reserve for me like five airplanes. So I lay in the chairs and my body was coming from airplane to the other airplane because there is no way they can carry me by myself alone. I mean, by one plane. There's no plane can fit me. I mean, I'm prophet of Allah, mashallah. Yeah, this is a dinosaur. This is a prophet dinosaur. And supposedly the Muslims they say the Christians they believe in fictions. If this is the size of a prophet Adam, what is what is what what was the size of Eve? I mean, you can imagine our mother Eve, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, those are Sufi, by the way. Like this guy, he was calling me. They are Sufi too. This is the madness of the Sufi people anyway. And yet they are, they are praying, they, they read Al-Fatiha, this is the Prophet. You see, this is the biggest business in the Middle East or in Pakistan or in those countries. You, you build a grave, you claim that here you found the grave of a Prophet. And you make it so long because that will convince the Abdul that this must be a Prophet. For it must, look, look how big it is. <laughs> come on. And then people, they come, they give you donation because you are the guardian of the Prophet the grave. You have wealth for the coming future 1,000 years for you and your kids after you. Because you die, your kids inherit the business. Do we have any, uh, Abdul? Who is a Muslim Abdul he dare to call? That the grave is fake for sure. It's fake. Come on. I assure you that there's not even a bone of a, of a rabbit inside I just told you that those people they do it as a business the whole religion of Islam is a business the Kaaba is a business you see uh, 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 Muhammad when he killed all the Christians and all the Jews It is when he changed the direction of the Kaaba of the prayer sorry before he was a praying to Jerusalem what's wrong why Jerusalem is not important no more when he killed all those who do business especially the Jews all of all of us until now the Jews are business people you see, uh, the, the the city of uh, uh, it's called today Al Medina. This is the city of the Jews, and the city was a flourishing because of the Jews, not only by trade, even by farming. The Jews are people who came from Israel, who they have a lot of experience with farming, and they are smart. They are smart people. There's no question about it. Until now, the Jewish are, you know, one of the highest IQ in the world. If you go and check right now, how many Jewish scientists exist in the world, you will not believe it, even though their number is small and tiny. But for sure, not everyone is a Jew. He's a smart too. Don't take it as a, you know. But generally speaking, this is the case. When Muhammad, he killed... His enemies and the business became uh, people they are afraid about how they will live okay now we have victory about you know we stole some money uh, 
uh, and uh, that's it this is the money we have and what we will do next this is why Muhammad he made jihad as a habit this is why Muhammad he said that if any one of you have a farming tool in his house Allah will put humiliation on the house which is uh, you know holding those tools so if the Muslims cannot do farming what they will do jihad Jihad was a business. It's, it's not really for the sake of any God. We go, we attack the neighbors. We do not need to work. We go attack them. We are a bunch of Bedouin, savage. We take a shower once a year. We attack the neighbors. We get their women. They will rape them. We enslave them. And money, and enslave our money at the end of the day. Because slaves, we sell them. Money is money. Jewelries is jewelries. Now, do we have any Muslim? Any Mohammedan here would like to call me? Open it challenge. One question by one question. Who there? Anyone? If you have a stomach flu, do what the Prophet advised the Muslims to do. Do you remember the story when Muhammad he said to a man, uh, "Let your brother." Like, there's a guy he came to Muhammad and he told him, "My brother is sick." So Muhammad told him, "Okay, tell him to eat honey." The guy he went, he came back after a few days and he said, "The Prophet, my 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 brother is getting more sick." Muhammad told him, didn't, didn't I say to you to tell him to eat more honey? He said, the prophet, I did, and he did, but he's getting more sick. He said, go back and let him drink or eat more honey. The guy, he went, he came back after a few days, and he said, prophet, he's getting really, really sick. Muhammad Rao is upset. He said, I, didn't I say to you, tell him to drink honey? The guy he said prophet I told him and he did but he is getting more sick Muhammad he said to him go go back and let him drink more honey the guy he went back and he came back again after a few days and obviously his brother is dying and then when he said to the to, to Muhammad again that my brother is getting more sick Muhammad he got so upset and he said to him your brother's stomach is lying and Allah told the truth <laughs> have you ever heard of a doctor like Muhammad your brother's stomach is lying and Allah told the truth imagine you go to a doctor and he give you a medicine then you come back then you tell him doctor it's hurting me more you say it's okay okay call take more take more you come back after a few days more. It's okay, it's okay, take more, take more, take more. Then after a few days, a few days, a few days, a few days, and the guy now is, is, is almost dead. And the doctor, he scream at you, he wanna kill you. He says, you are a liar and your stomach is lying and Allah told the truth. Muslims, is the story I am saying, is it true or fabrication of my own? Do we have any Muslim have any objection? Any objection? We accept all kind of objection, even if it is about the election of Mr. Putin. Any Muslim have objection? I love objection. Who wanna object what I said? Muslims, trust me, I am weak. All what you need to do is just could put me in the corner, give me a call, and get me busted. It was long time ago when I got busted. I got busted since when was I was six years old kid, you know. Uh, my mom she asked me who ate the cake. I said it's not me, but there was a lot of cake in my lips. I miss it. Any Abdul? It's not me, mom. Who ate the cake? It's not me. So why you have too much cake in your lips? Uh, uh, wait, wait here. 
Who is a Muslim want to call me? <clears throat> Don't use bad language in my chat, otherwise I have to block you. Be careful. Anyone will use a ba ba bad language here. We don't use the F word. If you want to speak smart, don't use the F word. The F word does not make you smart or convincing. Trust me. Avoid this word. That is not, you know, I mean, I don't watch any topic, but why people use this language? I mean, does it make you really look smart? Do you think so? It doesn't make you look smart. Anyone can say that word. But it's not, you know, why you want to say such a word? Do we have any Abdul? That is a clone? Okay, then we will we will block him when he say that again. Yeah, I know, Muslim, Muslims. Nothing new. Nothing new. Ah, clone. We forgot this is the religion of the cloning. You see, they wanted to kill Jesus, but Allah clones Jesus. You know, they, they go to capture Jesus. They did not find one Jesus. They found like 100 Jesus. Which one is Jesus? Are you Jesus? No, not me. I look like him. What about you? I look like him too. Okay, what about you? Well, all of us, we are a clone. We are in the city of a clone. I mean, it's not only Muslims today. They clone every software they set for free for one dollar. Allah himself is a clone, in, a clone master. Any Abdul? By the way, if you are first time here, don't forget to subscribe because at the end of the month, which is the end of the year, Allah promised me he will give us a lot of versions. Now, however, you know, I have to say some words is like disclaimer. Those versions of Allah, they are not really versions. We have to be honest here. They are refurbished. Mm -hmm. They are refurbished versions. Because as you know, those who each time Allah and his prophet and the Muslims they have sex with them Allah he placed his finger there and he make the inversion again and that make them refurbished I hope you understand so we call them virgins but in fact they are not Muslims do you really believe that Allah will supply refurbished versions yeah yeah I will block him I will block him yeah he's banned already Forget about him. We need a holy picture. Christine, you are a girl. I mean, this is a request should come from from guys. Anyway, the the holy picture. Let me let me show you the holy pictures. Are, are you sure you want to see the holy pictures? I mean, you will be amazed. Actually, first first time me myself, I saw the holy pictures. I was almost converted to Islam. I mean, like this is wow. I mean. It's astonishing. Uh, <clears throat> let me show you the holy pictures. You are forcing me to do, uh, to show, uh, I mean, really, really crazy stuff. I don't know what to say now. You should not do that. All right. Okay, are you ready to see the holy pictures in the heaven? Are you ready? Look at this. Remember Allah, he said, or Muhammad, sorry, he said, Aka Allah, that in the heaven, you can see through their bones. Eww. I mean, look at this position, this female she is doing. This is your virgin in heaven. Look how beautiful, unbelievable. I, I, I'm, I guys, I have to change the picture, sorry, because it's making me so, I'm losing control. Look at this one, look at this one. Eww, 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 eww. I mean, this is this is really so hot. Our women, we will see through their bones. 
so beautiful, so unique. You see, guys, honestly, the reason I'm not married yet, I'm worried if I get married, my wife, she will go to the refrigerator and eat my food. And then how I will know who is the one who ate the food? It might be the genie. But if I can get a woman like this, one, look, I can see what is inside her belly. I mean, look how beautiful this is, is. What kind of God he promised us that we have women who we can see through their bones? Is that a jellyfish? Hello? Hello? Any Abdul? You see, the Muslims are upset. I understand the more the Muslims are upset the more it's mean we are doing the right thing if the Muslims are not upset that's mean we are not doing the right thing look at this picture <laughs> I have to change the topic guys otherwise you guys you might do some sin now this is too much I mean this is and maybe some of you are not even uh, like in, in the age to see such a thing this is too much Any Abdul? Do you see the high heels of this uh, Huri? Oof, 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 oof. I mean, this God, Allah, is, must be a real God. If Allah is not God, He will not do this. And you're still asking me to give you a proof that Allah is God? Do you want more than this? What do you want more? Unbelievable. Any Abdul have an answer why Allah want to give us versions that look like this? I mean, this is scary. Who in the world is going to have sex with this woman? This is a woman? Are you, are you sure this is a woman? Yeah, this is a refurbished refer woman. <laughs> Oh, Lord have mercy. Do we have any Abdul? Have an objection? No objection. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you like what we do. And if you don't like what we do, still I advise you to subscribe. For Allah is going to give refurbished versions at the end of the month if you subscribe to our channel. So I advise you to do it immediately. Now, if you are a person who subscribe already I advise you to unsubscribe the reason for that because if you unsubscribe and subscribe again Allah might double your name because always he make mistakes he might register your name twice in the lotto you know what I mean like now already he got the names all right so unsubscribe and subscribe again so your name will appear twice in the lotto and that will expand your choice or chance to to win uh, I hope my Quran, the one I just told you, is convincing. Any Abdul? Let me change this picture. I see like uh, uh, people, they are getting going nut. I mean, you know, many men, they will divorce their wives now after they see this. How many of you now, guys, be honest, how many of you are thinking now to divorce his wife after you saw this? Be honest, be honest. Me, myself, I'm going to divorce my future wife because I don't have one. But I will divorce her because of this. I mean, if I get married and I see this one and compare between my wife and this one, I mean, like, there is no way. <laughs> we cannot, you know, we cannot match even. Like, look at this hair, man. Oof. He, by the way, Abdul, why she is not wearing hijab? Oh, I forgot. Uh, it's in heaven. She is naked, yeah. Hmm. hmm. Any brave Muslim? All right, it's time for me to go. I want to say, guys, thank you for being here. I hope you did learn uh, something good and you enjoy our conversation. And if there is any Muslim ever he dare to debate me, please 
let him do so we are short of debaters sadly the Muslims debate only virgins who and those virgins are in heaven they are not here this is the only debate they are willing to do I wish that there is one Muslim he dare to take a question and to give an answer but they don't do that they are cowards thank you very much for being with us may the Lord bless you all and until I see you soon again may the Lord keep you safe in good health and wealth you and your family Christ is Lord Islam is false I mean to that and see you soon again thank you